One, two, one, two, three, four. Welcome everyone to the morning announcement. I'ma say my name so you can pronounce it. Bo, ma, ni, ar, ma. Shout out to early risers. I see who you are. My morning ritual. Thanks for having me over. Start with audio, visual, those are saying cova. My favorite occasions a few moons away. I'm counting rotations to watermelon day. If you're with me this morning, I hope that you're with it. Two things that I want and three ways to get it. Black solidarity, African independence. Honor the ancestors, prepare descendants. Third thing you gotta do is love right now. I mean that in every sense and every way you know how. Now throw them up and say what should increase on one Welcome everyone to the morning announcements. My name is Bomani Arma. We are here on Monday, January 16th, 2022. We are 201 days away from Watermelon Day at Sankofa. We are here to honor the ancestors, prepare the descendants, and love right now. Here's a special holiday episode that's starting a little bit later than normal. Um, today, we celebrate the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr. And I wanted to begin with one of my favorite things that I've seen him say that we have stored here on the nice internets. Um, and that's Martin Luther King on being black and beautiful. So that is how we're going to start today's program. Friends, let's begin with Mr. Martin Luther King Jr. I come here tonight and plead with you. Believe in yourself and believe that you're somebody. As I said to the group last night, nobody else can do this for us. No document can do this for us. No Lincolnian Emancipation Proclamation can do this for us. No Kennesonian or Johnsonian Civil Rights Bill can do this for us. If the Negro is to be free, he must move down into the inner resources of his own soul and sign with a pen and ink of self-assertive manhood his own emancipation. Somebody said earlier tonight, we don't have anything to be ashamed of. Somebody told a lie one day. They couched it in language. They made everything black, ugly, and evil. Look in your dictionary and see the synonyms of the word black. It's always something degrading and low and sinister. Look at the word white. It's always something pure, high and clean. But I want to get the language right tonight. I want to get the language so right that everybody he will cry out, yes, I'm black, I'm proud of it, I'm black and beautiful. Yeah. Black. black is the velvet of the midnight sky. Friends, that was Mr. Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., talking about black being beautiful. We are gonna come back to that subject before the end of today's program. Today, I would like to pour another libation. Our libation this morning is for one Mr. Ernest James Gaines, Ernest J. Gaines. January 13th, 1850 to January 4th, 1911, an American author whose works have been taught in college classrooms and translated into languages, including French, Spanish, German, Russian, and Chinese. Four of his works were made into television movies. His 1993 novel, A Lesson Before Dying, won the National Book Critics Award for Fiction. Gaines was a MacArthur Foundation Fellow and was awarded the National Humanities Medal and was inducted into the French Order des Arts et des Lettres, Order of Arts and Letters as a Chevalier. Here's our quote from Ernest Gaines. Why is it that as a culture, 
We are more comfortable seeing two men holding guns than holding hands. Ernest Gaines. Let me read this quote one more time. Why is it that as a culture, we are more comfortable seeing two men holding guns than holding hands? Ernest Gaines. Brother, we've been asking that question in earnest for a while now. I've heard Gaines' name in literary circles for years, and I'm familiar with the movie based on his book, A Lesson Before Dying. It's a, nov a novel that I should read now as an adult who spent my 20s organizing for prison reform. What has also always rung true for Ernest Gaines is his empathy for his fellow humans. It doesn't require for him to have lived their experience, just that they are human like him. Why must we glorify violence to the extreme the way we do here in America? Why must we demonize love that doesn't fit outdated standards here in America? A great question to ponder today as we dream of the country we all want. Thanks for this quote, Ernest Gaines. Let's pour our libation. We never forget, so never fear. For homies who ain't here, we pouring out a beer. Because of you, it'll never be the same. We keep saying your name while we pour champagne. For the mothers and the father figures, your flames still flickers, we pouring out some liquor. Where the sons and the daughters of heroes and martyrs honor you by pouring out some water. Friends, today's libation has been poured for earnest gain. Thank you very much for supporting the morning announcements. Once again, my name is Bomani Arma. I got a whole bunch going on. If you go to my websites, notarapper.com or Baba Got Bars, you can find links to my new children's album, Baba Bomani's Beatbox Basement. It is a limited release right now, only on Bandcamp. I'm going to release it more widely uh, later this summer, but I'm working on getting my marketing and my promotion together and making sure that people hear the album and give me feedback on it as I decide what videos to shoot. Y'all are my target market. Please go to my website, check out Baba Bomani's Beatbox Basement, all right? You can also check out my album called The Watermelon Man or the new EP where I am also rapping more as a watermelon man. That project is called The Big Slice. Go to the website, notarapper.com. You can find more information about that. Um, you can also find your morning announcements merch. You know, here at the morning announcements, we say we honor the ancestors, prepare the descendants, and love right now. Go to the website and find your Honor the Ancestors mug in red, black, and green, or your t-shirts in black on white, white on black, or also in red, black, and green. This is a great way to show you support for this, uh, for this program in the morning, and hopefully to remind you to honor the ancestors, prepare the descendants, and love right now. Now, friends, I want to show you some amazing artwork that's being brought to you by my friends James and Sudeika over at Terrell Arts. They have created this new Watermelon Day artwork. It is actually available now. If you go to terrellartsdc.com, you can buy the prints of these two amazing pieces of artwork. Little girls eating watermelon. One of them is in the, in the back of their granddad's truck. We are selling these as a fundraiser for my favorite event. You know, I'm always giving you the countdown. We are 201 days away from Watermelon Day and Terrell Arts is providing this fundraiser t-shirt that is a beautiful depiction of young girls just enjoying themselves eating watermelon which is basically half my job is making sure people feel comfortable in their own skin take a look at it you can get this shirt done a couple of different ways with the bars and stars from washington dc and letting people know that you support watermelon day i think this is going to be part of a really cool movement that's happening um i really really truly enjoy the artwork that zudeka and james have made so make sure y'all go support black artists if you go into the description of this show right now you will find a link to terrell arts dc and it'll give you more information about this project all right now, friends, if you know me, I'm into making sure we read books with our children. So today I'm going to go over tonight's book, which is actually going to be our book of the week. I'm going to be talking about this a little bit every day, Monday through Thursday. Today's book is tonight's book is You So Black by Teresa Songbird. Uh, let me make sure you all understand. Teresa, the songbird, make sure you understand what's going on here. Let me read their description of it. You So Black by Teresa, the songbird, illustrated by London Ladd. Based on Teresa Wilson's, a.k.a. Teresa the Songbird's beautiful viral spoken word poem of the same name, You So Black is a picture book celebration of the richness, the nuance, and the joy of blackness. Black is everywhere and in everything and in everyone, in the night sky and the fertile soil below. It is familial connections and invention and hands lifted in praise and voices lifted in protest and in hearts wide open and filled with love. 
Black is Good, accompanied by powerful yet tender illustrations by award-winning illustrator London Ladd, Teresa the Songbird has adopted her poem full of gorgeous lyricism and imagery to show readers the love, joy, resilience, and universality in the beauty of Blackness. So friends, tonight's book and the book that we are going to be concentrating on all week is called You So Black. I'm going to be reading pages. I'm going to be giving you my daughter's review of this book. Um, we're going to have some fun with this. Thank you very much for supporting what we do here. All right, friends, I've got one more thing left to do as we uh, do our morning um, announcements, and that is to promote my next big show, the Frederick Douglass Writing Club, Writing for Freedom since 1838. As a matter of fact, I'm going to let you see this quick promo that I've been putting on all social media. If you see this on my site, please share this. I want young writers, especially third graders and up to come, but you can actually bring the entire family. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is Baba Bomani, and you know I like to teach. Through storytelling, let me tell you by the speech. By Frederick Douglass, it's the first he ever made. One of the reasons America is what it is today. He told the story in his book, this is the hip hop version. I rap is Frederick Douglass, that means first person. Douglass said he was scared, but he was prepared. He knew slavery was wrong, and he wanted people to wear. So. Uh, I'ma speak for me I'ma tell you how it is and how it's supposed to be I'ma speak up for myself and for my community Until my people are free I'ma speak for me I'ma speak for me I'ma tell you how it is and how it's supposed to be I'ma speak up for myself and for my community Until my people are free I'ma speak for me Alright, there you go uh, Frederick Douglass Writing Club I'm gonna be debuting I'm going to be debuting that song that you heard in the background during that performance. I'm also going to begin that performance by playing Lift Every Voice and Sing, the Black National Anthem. If you've been tuning in, you know I've been practicing this every morning. Friends, let me go ahead and end the program with that. Here comes the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Friends, that was the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing by James Weldon Johnson and Jay Rosamond Johnson. Friends, that has been my program. This has been a special late episode of the morning announcements. Tomorrow, I'll be back at my regular time, 6.30 a.m. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Um, uh, my friend Droopy one time said that if you're dreaming, what did he say? If you're dream dreaming without action, is just sleepwalking. So make sure you fulfill um, Martin Luther King's dream by not only having a dream, but also doing action with it. I think I'm messing up his quote completely. I'm gonna find it and bring it back tomorrow. There are three things that I want you to do today. Honor the ancestors, prepare the descendants, and love right now. All right, friends, at the count of three, everyone say peace, throw up the deuces. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Here we go. One, two, three, peace.